focus on the, the this kind of movement, the wrestling movement. When people come here, right, and this wrestling movement, they focus here a lot. And if someone kicking me, right, then, then they hold here in the wrestling move, they should hear a lot. And uh, attacking me again, then they, they move to here, hold, hold the person again, right? So fun, right? This kind of wrestling movement, you can use here. So but we are not, we are not like attacking here, we are not hold here, we do, we, Changsa will not do that. Okay, okay. So it, it's mainly a wrestling movement as far as you can basically put your opponent down yes. and then the wrestling movement is done. You don't necessarily go down on him. No. You don't go down to grab him. Yes, you see, when you play wrestling, they have uniform. Wrestling have a special uniform. You know, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, yeah. hold it here. And they have a different belt. Why? Because that's, that's a uniform. Make sure that you have a chance to use your technique. Okay. In martial art, we do have uniform. We well, have one t-shirt in my school, but we don't have the specific uniform for martial art practice. So where you to grab? You cannot grab here because that doesn't work huh? in, 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 in a technique. So this is why the wrestling skill in Bagua is cannot, cannot compare the technique in a pure wrestling. Okay. They use some principle, but the total different thing. That's good. We've compared Bagua to wrestling, but now also there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of people that mention that Bagua uh, is, is a younger style in internal martial arts, and that's it's a mixture of a little bit of both Shi and Tai Chi. What are your thoughts on that? I think it, it's true. Um, historically speaking, young, Bagua is the youngest. And we say, if we say Dong Hai Chuan was the founder, oh, he's the founder. So he's, it's a younger one. Xi Ni much older, and uh, Tai Chi older also. So, but, but why people say Bagua combination? Because in Chinese martial arts society, we have a, 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 a word, a sentence, a proverb. We say, um, Bagua is the three, uh, three aspects. It's the, the, the movement from Xing Ni. The force is close Tai Chi. The walking is Bagua. Why Bagua use the circular walking? And the, the, the hip turn also, so it's a Bagua. But the force is like Tai Chi force. Because like like this palm, huh? it's, it's more Tai Chi force, and the movement is Xing Yi. But animal animal movement, Xing Yi famous for their twelve animal animal forms. So they, and, and for example, they have they say, have the same movement, eagle or, or tiger or, or whatever. They, they use animal form. So as long as it's animal form, they can form Xing Yi. Okay. So they can just, they come here three styles, three uh, philosophy. That's good. That's good. Well, you were talking about, like, uh, I, I saw you the movement like this. Uh, it's, it is understood that Bagua has more of a horizontal type of force. Yes. So what would be the difference between that type of force and, let's say, a more vertical force like in Xing Yi? Like yes. Doing? Yes. That, that's a good question. In Xing Yi, no matter five elements, let's say we talk about the five elements, uh, five elements it can be seen, seen easier. We talk animal form, there's too many, too many force. So you see Xin Yi, the, the first one, P, is here, right? right? So their circle is this, this, this vertical circle right here. So like one, two, right? One, two, this is this circle. Boom, is a here, that's still small circle, see? One, two. Two, one, this is here, still circle. This direction, pop. So still here, hung the same. So the circle will be here. Bang, bang, no, bang, bang, this, this direction. See, one, see, one, two, and three. Right, so more, more, more horizontal. Tai Chi circle, no, Tai Chi is a lot of diagonal circle. Like some, some, some example, it's here, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's a more diagonal circle. Instead of this direction and the, and the this direction. Okay. Tai Chi focus more here. It's a basic movement, one, right? total, more here. So that's different circle, they, 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 although they are the circle. Oh, we can say the circular movement is better than the circle. <laughs> yes, yes, true. That that's true. So I'm guessing that's. Would you say that uh, horizontal circular movement would be better applied in Bagua for yes. for a takedown or a wrestling move? Yes. Whereas a vertical circle would be better applied for a strike. Yes. Okay. Yes. How I work in in Bagua, it's not like people only only want to make a circle. Make a circle for what? Attacking me again, we start to move back. The Bagua is famous for, for, for moving back to the, to the person again. So she like this. Bagua will be huh? like this. So go to the body, it's, 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 it's a Bagua. Tai Chi will not do Tai Chi, but Tai Chi will pull it. Huh? It's, a, it's a Tai Chi movement. So that they apply the circle for different reasons. Okay.
As I was uh, watching you go, go behind uh, your students' back, do, would you say then that Pagua is more of a defensive style than offensive? Because Shini seems to be very offensive. Yes, yes. I think that to the three style, Shini is most offensive. Tai Chi is the most uh, defensive. Okay. Bagua in between. Bagua is in between. In between. For sure, you can press any style as a defensive or defensive way or offensive way. But compare them together, we can make a, a general conclusion that Xing is more Tai Chi here, Bagua is in between. Okay. I see. Would you care to show us maybe a little bit of an example of a bit more offensive movement in, uh, in Bagua? Um, it's an offensive movement. It's a, any movement, people can they just go to the face. Right? This is Baba movement. Oh. See, like one, right? Oh, like this kind of movement that's happening here. Right? It's still Baba movement. Right? Go to here. Right? Oh. It's, you can define how you use it. It's not how you practice it, how you use it. Okay. And the mentality. But, 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 what I'm telling you, if you, if you, let's say, no matter what Xing Yi Baba Tai Chi, you, you block here and move back, it's too offensive. Oh, they, 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 sorry, too defensive. However, you block the same time you go forward, it's, a it's, a, it's a offensive. Okay. It's not like where you want to attack, and what you, your mentality, you, you want to beat the person on the floor or die with it. No, not that at all. It depends what, how you react, attack me again. So here is a more, more, of, uh, more defensive. But you attack me again, so here is just defensive. Okay. Now you want to go back. So as soon basically as you block, as you go forward, Yes, and then it becomes a bit more of an offense at the same time. Yes, yes. In, in, in martial, martial art, we say um, there's no difference between offense, offense and defense. We should combine them together. So, so we say you go forward and to defend yourself and attack at the same time. But if you only move back, that's just the purely defensive. I understand. Right? I understand. Oh, that's good. Also, another question would be about I've heard that there's different heights of postures in Bagua when we do practice, yes. such as high posture, middle posture, and low posture. Yes. I'd like to have your opinion on that. And yes. What are the differences? Yes. Uh, I'll show a little bit of that. Could you adjust the camera later? Yeah. yeah. You see, a high posture, normally yeah. we say, like, just from here, it's a high posture, very high. Okay. Low posture can be very low. Oh. It can be like this, the low posture. And then middle posture like this. But to the to the to the movement different. We say high posture more the focus here, like one, two, this part, high posture. And low posture will be like one, two, huh? it's very low. The middle posture, we say train one, two, it's more middle, middle part. Oh. It's a different structure, but the, the benefit will be the same. And, uh, and another thing is high posture energy very high, low posture is very low. Middle posture is in the focus normal. No more high. So I, I prefer to students begin from high posture and uh, then focus on low or middle later. Okay. And would there also be a difference in the applications? Um, it's not specific, like not specific uh, uh, differences. But like we talked before, it depends how you want to use it. Okay. But for sure, um, if you make the, the, the movement very pretty and uh, very wide open, it will not work. For example, like this it, kind of like, movement is too much, we don't work. Right? Just like that, we will work. It's, it's, it's open enough. You don't have to like that. Oh, that's really any, over, any movement, if it's not overdone, it becomes useless. Okay. Any movement. And we practice the internal style. And if you do the movement like, like, like the one, like this, it's over pushed, over stretched. It's not internal style at all. Okay. So if some people do Shaolin, if they do this, you will say, well, Shaolin is external. But Shaolin can, can be very internal also. If you do internal style, you do Xing Yi, you do like, like this or like this. It's not